Lepidus. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Donna Sports Show, brought to you by my great friends and sponsors like, well, let's see, Mike Sandralini. No, no, Mike's just one of our contributors. But uh, one of our sponsors, of course, are Forest Preserve District Golf Courses uh, of DuPage County. The uh, three courses that they have are great. Primerica Investment, my nephew Mike Figarelli, uh, will make you a lot of dough. Uh, Mugs and Manor, Still and Grill, get in there, they got 33 great beers. Fox Bowl out in Wheaton, Illinois. Advance Auto, man, them guys can take care of your car, I'm telling you. If you have any problems, go to Advance Auto out there on Lake Street. The Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria, 25 pool tables. You could play pool, you could watch TV, you could have something to eat. It's a great place. Intrend, of course, Intrend does a lot of work for ComEd. Uh, Max Golden Pheasants, wow, my buddy Steve Mack there. What a delicious meal you can have there. Specials every day and a great bar. Go in there and see Steve. The Addison Park District, they have a lot of activities. Give them a call and uh, pick up a brochure. Shoeless Joe's, wow. Shoeless Joe's, two locations, one over by O'Hare uh, Airport there, like around Higgins and uh, Mannheim. And the other one's in Addison, Illinois. Go in there, a lot of fun, great food, and great entertainment on the weekend. And uh, now here's a new one for you, folks. Joe and Marcello Lerario, okay? They invented flip fork. What is a flip fork? Flip fork is a revolutionary kitchen utensil that does it all. This patent pending all-in-one spatula makes cooking and grilling easier than ever. With a variety of useful tools built in, you are given the ability to multitask with one swift movement. Flip fork is dishwater safe, cost effective, and with its multi-use design will accommodate all your needs when cooking or grilling. And uh, remember that and we'll be right back. Hi everybody, the Donna Sports here. Hey you guys, it's time to get out and golf. The DuPage County Forest Preserve courses are open. Maple Meadows at 272 Addison Road in Wooddale. It's a lynx type course that is in great shape and no trees to hit. That's what a lynx type course is, not many trees. Oak Meadows at 900 North Wooddale Road in Addison is a traditional course with trees, beautiful flowers, and not many sand traps. And the price is reasonable. And get this, it has the longest bar in DuPage County for the 19th hole. And Green Meadows on 63rd and Westmont, a shorter course that is in great shape also. All of these courses are waiting for you at reasonable prices. Call Oak Meadows at 630-595-0071 and make your tea time. America is one of the largest financial services marketing organizations in the nation with approximately 95,000 licensed independent representatives. Primerica is an industry leader in financial services. I'm Mike Figarelli, an independent representative and senior vice president in the Bensonville area, and the company's goal is to help ordinary families prepare for their financial futures. We've shown many local families how to do just that, and we are prepared to grow locally by providing people with financial solutions as well as a great business opportunity. As an independent representative with Primerica, you can build a business of your own, part-time or full-time. To learn more about the Primerica business opportunity, call me, Mike Figarelli, at 630-860-0033. Again, that's 630-860-0033. Baseball players are, are making now. Uh, is it good for the game or... Yeah. Well, what do you think? You Tom? know what? It just will drive the tickets up. Uh, the only thing that will help them is if they get a big TV contract, and uh, you know the tickets will still go up. I yeah. mean, it's unbelievable. It is. You know, I mean, four hundred thousand. Uh, where do they get all this dough? Well, I guess they they raise the prices uh, uh, on the tickets and television. I guess you know. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, boy, oh boy, uh, I guess they can afford it. They figure uh, uh, th these guys are going to, you know, be great players, which they're already great, but maybe they'll bring in more fans. Well, I don't know if it'll bring in more fans, but you know what? 
I think uh, even when you want to get them and you don't want to go to the ball game, they'll probably have it on TV, pay TV. Mm, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Well, who's I mean, go- and this is the first year that uh, the Cubs won't be on WGN. Boy, that's right. That's a shame, isn't it? Uh, well, what they're going to have their own channel, or how do you watch them now? Well, it, 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 uh, they'll have a NBA, they'll have a uh, major league station. It'll be called Cup Station or something. Oh, really? But it's not pay. You don't have to pay for it extra, do you? Well, you might have to. Who knows? Really? John's shaking his head. Yeah, have you see, you heard that, Johnny? You, have well, to I didn't hear that they'd pay it, but I mean. Well, you know, eventually they they need the money. Oh, for heaven's sake, boy! I tell you what, you know what the heck? Uh, what's it coming to, Tom? Uh, I know. Yeah, it's just unbelievable, you know. It's too much. It, yeah, it really is, you know. Uh, who, who do you like in basketball? Well, my final four, Tom, are uh, Duke, uh, Michigan State, North Carolina, and uh, who was that other one that I had? Uh, I think Gonzaga? It, well, you know, no, not, you know why they, they always they're they're predicted to win, and then somehow they get. Well, they won last year. Yeah, well, yeah, they got, but no, they they won the whole thing last year. Yeah, I think they did. I, I didn't. I picked them. Remember? Did Gonzaga? Is yeah, there, didn't they? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I thought. Well, you could be right. Well, well yeah. let's let's find out about that. I, but I didn't think they won last year, did they? No, didn't well, Villanova? Check it out. On uh, I, I thought Villanova won. Last. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> but that's thought, that, that's the other I, one. But anyway, t- I think I think Gonzaga. I thought I was the only winner. But we got to check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. But I I think Duke is going to end up winning it all again, Tom. Yeah, that would be good if they can do good. You know, uh, the th- Michigan State is a tough game. Tough game. Yeah. Well, yeah. They they uh, that that'll be a good game to watch. That's for sure. But they've got the Duke uh, has got this real big guy in the middle, Zion something. Right. And uh, man, he's a monster. You know, I don't know if anybody can stop him. Uh, well, they'll figure out a way to do something. Right. All right, Tommy. I'll let you go, buddy. Say hi to Lori for me. I'll do that. And you take care, Doc. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye now. All right. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, if you get a chance, get over to J.D. Muggs Bar and Grill, located at 437 North Addison Road in Addison, Illinois. 33 different kinds of beer. Can you imagine that? It's the home of the He-Man Burger, and baby, that is a He-Man Burger. Wait till you see the size of that burger. Chicken Caesar Salad, which is one of my favorites. It's a friendly atmosphere. There's karaoke on Wednesday night and a great DJ on Fridays. Call Dean at 630-833-2570. Hi, my name is Tom Sims. I'm the owner of Fox Bowl. We are Fox Bowl Training Center and Pro Shop. We set ourselves apart because we emphasize instructions. We have a full-time bowling instructor, Greg Zika. We have instant replay, videotape each bowler. Another program that we have is our Youth Bowling, USA Bowling. It's an eight-week program after school type of thing. It's eight weeks for $88 with instructions, and every child gets a free bowling ball, a $75 value. And thank you from Fox Bowl. Hi everybody, welcome back. On the line with me now is my great friend Jeff, bowling man Trusco. <laughs> Hello Jeff. Good morning, Don. Hi right, buddy. Hey, we miss you on uh, Thursday night. You know, you got to cheer us on. Why don't you, you said you were going to stop by at least one time? Yeah, well there's still a few weeks left. <laughs> Yeah, only about four or five, Jeff. Uh, but uh, we're we're hanging in there, uh, you know. But uh, we've lost some key games, you know, and uh, that that hurt us. We we were ahead going into the tenth frame, and by golly, something always seems to happen, you know. You know how that is. Oh, certainly. Yeah, and uh, I don't know why, uh, but it's one of those things, you know. You catch a rail which you don't expect, you know, and uh, sometimes. Someone will miss a spare that you wouldn't expect, you know, and uh, it happened. We uh, we got a chance for the playoffs, though. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, we, uh, we we didn't win any quarters, but 
you know, they have a, a wild card system, so which is good. You know, to, uh-huh. if you if you don't uh, win a quarter, you got a chance to be a wild card. Right. And so we're hoping for that, Jeff. But Jeff, what do you think about these crazy astronomical money that these baseball players are getting? What's your comment on that? Well, you put it. You, you said it right there. Crazy. It's insanity. It's madness. It's it's absolute. <laughs> Uh, gross stupidity. <laughs> it is. It, I mean, uh, when we spoke a few weeks ago about uh, Machado, he got three hundred thousand, and then Harper gets three hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah. And then uh, the thought came to me: Okay, when is this going to stop? When is enough enough? When are these owners going to wise up and come to reality? And I was thinking: Is it going to keep going so that who's going to be the five hundred million dollar ball player? Yeah. You know, this is, it's just insane. It's ludicrous. It really is. But you know what like, uh, What might happen uh, is, like Tom Michael said, to get uh, some of that revenue back, you're going to have to pay to watch a, it'll be on pay-per-view, you know, to watch a baseball game. Do you do you think that'll come about? Well, it, it you know, it might lead up to that because Ricketts right now, he's planning on having uh, next year, the Cubs on his own station, mm-hmm. in which uh, it, so there will uh, the Cubs games will not be on WGN anymore, oh, or boy. a very small number of them. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, they don't know how they're going to exactly work that. It, there was a full page article in the sports section in the February fourteenth uh, edition of the Sun Times, mm-hmm. and they says it might be uh, where you're going to have to pay to get that station. You you might have to pay six or seven dollars a month or something like that. Is it? But, See that? That's what they're figuring on. I bet. Yeah, and and then it's not just going to be a game. I, I think it's going to be all things Cubs. I think uh, the article said like twenty four seven coverage of everything you want to know about the Cubs. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. would I? Well, it, you know, because I love the game. Yeah. Would I pay six or seven dollars a month? I, I probably would, mm-hmm. because then I guess I have uh, the. Uh, uh, chance to see every game yeah. that I possibly can, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, it, it's just really ridiculous. Uh, Ricketts is another one. He's built up so much mm-hmm. in the Wrigleyville neighborhood there yeah. with hotels and the restaurant and the commercial and and, and entertainment and everything. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, I, I personally I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I like the way things used to be. Yeah, yeah, the old-fashioned Wrigley Field, you know. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. parking and so on. Uh, but I think that's where they're going to, that's why they gave those guys those salaries. They're going to They're gonna want some TV money. Well, they get TV money already, but they're all, all going to have their own station, so they make the money rather than the TV stations. I mean, uh, that that's what I think is going to happen. I I can't deny that. I think it's a, a very strong possibility. Mm-hmm. And and the thing with paying these uh, certain guys these outrageous uh, asinine uh, uh, salaries mm-hmm. is that's guaranteed for the player. If mm-hmm. he has an injury, he's going to get paid. Well, in, in what is it, Mike Trout, Mike Trout's yeah. uh, case. He's got gonna be getting paid thirty six million, thirty seven million dollars a year. Oh god. And that's what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah. And and if he has a bad year, is he gonna say or is the owner gonna tell him, Well look, you didn't do so well, so well you're not worth uh, thirty six million dollars hey, but I signed a contract. Yeah. And you gotta live up to it. Right. So if he gets injured, same thing. He's gonna get paid. Mm. This this is just pure insanity. Yeah. I it sure is, Jeff. I I don't know when it's going to end, if it ever will. Uh, but like I say, what I think is going to happen is an increase in ticket prices, of course. Of course. You know, and, uh, and then also they're all going to have their own station, their own broadcast station, you know, uh, of, of the, the ball p- club. That's what I think. It's like Amazon now. You know, they're so popular. They, the UPS, but they're going to do away with you. Why should they pay... UPS, they're going to get their own trucks and uh, have their own facilities to distribute their products. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Right? Wait, go, go ahead, John. You know, gentlemen, there is nobody in this world 
that is worth the kind of money that these ball players or these sports people are, are, are making. Not even the President of the United States, <laughs> like or dislike him, regardless of what, he doesn't even make that kind of money. Mm-hmm. Well, and I compare that too to uh, cardiothoracic surgeons and neurosurgeons. They don't get anything like yeah, that. That's right. And well, you know what's going to happen, gentlemen? The sports world is going to pay. Is going to is going to go out of business one of these days <laughs> because some people are not going to be able. Now, I have Comcast cable, and I'm very much thinking about doing away with it because I cannot afford their their two hundred dollars a month that I have to pay for for internet service and for two TV sets. That's out of out of yeah. whack. And yeah. you, when you're on a very fixed income like I am, and ninety nine percent of the sports people are, you just cannot afford their outrageous prices and to pay these guys for hitting a ball uh, 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 for just a couple months out of the year is I think is outrageous and I think something should be done about that well yeah what can be done about they say it's free enterprise you know uh, that's the way our uh, society runs with uh, capitalism and all this but the thing of it is the the it's the common folks Mm -hmm. the true baseball fans who are gonna suffer they either pay more or if they say, well, it's, it's too much, I'm sorry, we can't go to a game. Mm-hmm. But the owners, they're, if they don't get the revenue by fans attending the games mm-hmm. and from uh, uh, the uh, broadcast and all that, yeah. they claim it as a, a business uh, a loss, and you know they're protected in that way. If I'm no businessman, but I think that's the way it is. Oh, sure. You know, they're, they're covered. Yeah. Well, they've got millions, so uh, when they file, they say, well, you know, we lost so much on the ball team. They don't, you know, it doesn't matter to them. You know, Jeff, uh, yeah. that, that's that's the reason. They just, uh, use it as a write-off, you know. Exactly. Yeah, exa- oh, brother. Well, listen, Jeff, thanks for your input, buddy. I don't want to tie you up too long. And hey, get I'm not a, going anywhere. <laughs> if, you get, <laughs> if you get a chance, come on up to the bowling lanes, will you? Yeah, I was... I was waiting all this time for the weather to get better, and it has taken a turn for the better. Yeah. So uh, I was toying with the idea of going last night, but I have some things to do uh, 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 that I had accomplished yesterday before this weekend. And uh, uh, we'll see how, how it goes. Uh, yeah, all uh, right. I'm planning on coming out there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some bells on so you know I'm coming. Well, all right. Everybody would like to see you, <laughs> Jeff, okay? <laughs> all right. Take care, Jeff. You guys, take Bye-bye. care. All right. All right, Johnny. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I'd like you to go over to Addison Advantage of Addison, a car care center. Why? Because they have a free inspection for your brakes, your exhaust, your struts, your struts, your shaft, ball joints, radiators, water pumps, timing belts, tires, wheel bearings. You realize yeah, there are that many things that would be done on a car? Hey, it's all called uh, preventive maintenance, that, right? That's absolutely and, you know, right. Yeah, it's absolutely right. You Jack. can't be too safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get in there. And, and But if you do need some things, there's a $20 bonus voucher for any service over 250 which, you know, that 20 save you 20 bucks. And a $5 bonus voucher, I keep saying voucher, voucher, $5 off any service over $30. That'd be easy to do. An oil change would be that. You'd get $5 off. They're located at 885 Lake Street in Addison. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 6, on Saturday from 8 to 3. Give Dominic or Leon a call at 630-543-1397. All right, that's Auto Advantage of Addison Car Care Center. Great guys. They have uh, best warranty around and the longest warranty around. Uh, brakes seventy dollars off on a on a brake job with a four wheel lifetime warranty. Can you imagine that? Mm. And a one year warranty on all labor that they do. Uh, all work comes with a warranty. So if you need uh, your oil change, you need transmission, you need f- uh, flush, a front end work, fuel pumps, whatever whatever you could think of on your car, go over to Addison Advantage uh, of Addison at eight eighty five Lake Street in Addison. Call Dominic or Leon six three zero five four three one three nine seven. Hi everybody, this is the Donna Sports Don Figarelli, telling you about one of our great sponsors. All right, Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar. That's right, Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar. 
Addison's favorite pizzeria at 236 West Lake Street in Addison. Phone number 630-458-0777. Hot, fast delivery. 2012 Addison Pizza by the Slice winner. Yes, best thin crust pizza, best sausage pizza, best pizza sauce. Late night delivery. Here's their hours, Sunday to Thursday, 10 at thir- 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's 10.30. Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Be- minimum order, $10. Delivery charge, only $2.50. Menu prices subject to change without notice. Dine-in, delivery, carry-out, catering. That's Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria. www.pyramidclubaddison.com. Go there. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. On the line with me now is my good friend, Joe Lalario. Hello, Joe. Don, how are you, my friend? How's things up in uh, Windy City today? <laughs> All right. Where are you at now, Joe? I'm laying low in sunny Marco Island, Florida, with oh. all the snowbirds. Up. Oh, man, good for you, Joey. Uh, I just want to talk to you a, a minute, and I want you to explain a little bit about uh, Flip Fork, okay, Joe? Uh, five in one utensil. Now, what are the five, Joe? So the five in one is basically, it started off, obviously, you've got your spatula, mm-hmm. and you've got your fork, and it's combined into one. Okay. So you've got your spatula and your fork prong. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you don't have to go outside with a spatula and a fork in your hand. All right. And then the edge of the fork has got a cutting blade with a mm-hmm. knife, so you can cut your meat to check out, you know, if it's ready to go. You can uh, cut your vegetables. You don't wow. have to worry about bringing a knife out there with you. And then, of course, you've got to have a bottle opener because who likes to, <laughs> you know, That's barbecue true. without a, a cold Pepsi Cola in their hand or something like that. <laughs> That's right. And then you've got the other edge, the other side of the of the spatula has a meat tenderizer on it. Really? So wow. yeah. So you've taken all of that, and instead of storing five different items, washing and cleaning five different yeah. items, you have one item. You walk out there with you. Mm-hmm. You know, you got it in your hand. You walk out to the grill, and you're the boss of the grill, and that's why we call it the boss. That's from right. Yeah, that's right, Joe. I tell you. Uh, it, where is it available, Joe? Uh, can you get it at m- yeah, most Yeah, right now, right now you could buy it on Amazon online. Okay. You could buy it on Bed Bath and Beyond online. Wow. It's in Bed Bath and Beyond, but there's about a hundred stores down south in yeah. Texas, Louisiana, those areas there. They're yeah. going to start putting them in the stores in the wow. Atlantic region. Wow. Uh, we're getting into the Ace Hardware, Target Online. So, yeah, it's, it's going pretty well. We're looking to do a deal with Menards, and that oh, would be a great really? deal. If we, can, if we can get Menards, it'd be great because yeah. Menards is such a good store. Oh, absolutely. You know, they've got a variety of products there. So yeah. we're excited. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. And, and uh, Julie and Marcello did a great job on the TV show. I don't know if you had a chance to see it yet, but... Uh, yes, I did. They were great. You were awesome yourself. So we, <laughs> we, you no, know, no. we appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate it for all the hard times I gave you when I was a goalie in soccer, <laughs> you know, back in the yeah. day and all the, well, all the good calls you made, and I thought they weren't too good, but hey, <laughs> I know back then. Yeah, yeah, and Marcello said I gave him a red card, but I said, well, you must have done something bad. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure, right? Yeah, right, right. But uh, Joe, I'm gonna I'm gonna read something here, and then tell me if this is uh, meets your approval, okay? Yes, uh, sir. All right. Uh, what is a flip fork? Flip fork is a revolutionary kitchen utensil that does it all. This patent pending all-in-one spatula makes cooking and grilling easier than ever. With a variety of useful tools built in, you are given the ability to multitask with one swift movement. Flip fork is dishwater safe cost-effective, and with its multi-use design, will accommodate all your needs when cooking or grilling. Is that okay, Joe? It's perfect. The only thing is it's not a patent pending anymore. It's actually patented, 100% patented. So we got our patent approval last year in September. So oh, wow. We're super excited about that. That's great, Joe. God, God bless you, all right? Okay, Joey, hey, thanks for the uh, time, Joe, okay? No problem, Don. Have a good time. Have a good day. Good luck up there. And, all uh, right. Warm. Yeah, all right. Thank you, we'll Joe. We'll talk soon. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. bye-bye. All right, folks, we'll be right back. Hi, 
Hi everybody, Don Figuerelli here, the Don of Sports. I want to tell you about some very interesting people that I know, a wonderful company that they have, Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer. It's their 25th anniversary being in business and uh, in conjunction with ComEd. Okay, they do a lot of work for ComEd. They're bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. In trend. Outperforming every day. They're located at 18202 West Union Road in Union, Illinois. 60180. Their website, www.intren.com. That's I-N-T-R-E-N. Outperforming every day. Loretta and Danny Rosemeyer. Loretta is the chief executive officer. Her mobile phone is 815-341-4535. That's in trend. 25th anniversary, bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. A wonderful corporation. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figarelli here, the Don of Sports, talking about Max Golden Pheasant. Wow, a fixture in Elmhurst for many, many years. Located in Elmhurst, of course, near Route 83 and North Avenue on the south side of the street. Now, uh, you know, it's kind of a combination sports bar, beautiful restaurant. Uh, Steve Mack, what a what a great guy. He went to York High School, a great baseball player. He's the owner. His dad owned it, and I believe his dad, grandpa, owned it also. Uh, food is terrific. You, you walk in, and it's a ter- nice circular bar right there with not giant screen TVs, but nice TVs all around the bar. Uh, and there's always... Uh, some people around the bar, friendly people, combination, some young guys, some older guys, some young ladies, some older, you know, uh, at the bar as you first walk in. But then you go in the back uh, where the, the restaurant is, terrific, big fireplace, nice tablecloth. Uh, could look out on the back yard uh, like it's a, a little atrium back there, some flowers and trees. could look out that window if you'd like. Uh, and uh, the service is terrific. The food is great. They have a special every day, uh, and the food is great. They, uh, they, they, the waiters, the servers are, are terrific people and uh, reasonable prices, but, but great food and a, and a great bar. So uh, do me a favor and get in to see Steve at Max Golden Pheasant in Elmhurst. Uh, do yourself a favor. Uh, take care now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. On the line with me now is John Figarelli, the uh, owner, president of the National Fitness Hall of Fame. Hello, John. How you doing, Don? All right, buddy. Uh, before we get into the Hall of Fame, of course, uh, what about these high salaries that these baseball players are making? What do you think of that, John? Oh, it's ridiculous. No one's worth that much money, and uh, <laughs> I don't see how the owners and the people can... That's one person, right? Don't you have to have at least uh, nine players for baseball? So oh, yeah, have to get right. paid. I mean, how much are they making? I don't even watch it anymore. It's so I, ridiculous. I know. What I think is going to happen, though, is, is they're, they're going to have, it's going to be like pay-per-view, you know. They're going to have their own station, and uh, you got to pay to watch their games. So maybe they might figure that'll give them more revenue. That's sort of what I think. Like, look at the Cubs. They're not going to be on WGN anymore. Uh, yeah, the yeah the the Cubs do ha, have their own station now, so right. that's that's probably. Well, here's my question to you. I mean, uh, I know you're the Don of Sports, but uh, <laughs> does it does it matter in your life in your life what these people do? You know, the these strangers that we have to say you know fawn over. It's like <laughs> I, I don't. I can just turn it off. I don't need to see the guy make thirty million, forty million a year. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I'm lucky if I made a million in our lifetime. So, yes, do I need to watch? Oh, you know, they kind of, you know, if you get into it, they they 
brainwash you to say you need to watch this. Yeah. Like, why? It doesn't affect my life at yeah, all, I guess. Right. Who needs it, right? Yeah. Who needs it? <laughs> you know? All right. But, but I think it's not a sport. I think of a youth kid just playing for the fun of the game and stuff. But the pro level is just so ridiculous, you know? And then, you well, know, with the is, cheating sometimes, with yeah, zero, right. with this, whatever, you know, well, get in at all costs, and, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's the, not a... Uh, uh, good environment, which one of your friends, I believe, wrote a book, uh, All the Good in Sports, but there's yeah, a lot of bad in sports, right. too. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mike Sandrolini, yeah. Mm-hmm. But right. there's very few of those guys, you know. They're, yeah, There's not, right. the, not the majority. But anyway, yeah. the, let's switch gears, Johnny. What about the Hall of Fame coming up now? Uh, yeah, um, April 28th, uh, National Fitness Hall of Fame will be celebrating its 15th anniversary with an induction ceremony right there in Addison, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's still a few tickets left. We're almost sold out, but there are about uh, five or eight tickets left. Okay. If anybody's interested, they can get into fitness, into meeting some of these uh, historic uh, icons of fitness will be coming in to receive some awards. Mm-hmm. So it's a National Fitness Hall of Fame.com. People can come and mm-hmm. participate. Okay, it's always a great venue there, Johnny. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and this year we got a special expo where, uh, you know, kids could try fitness things and get into fitness, and there's a thing, too, if uh, whatever sport you may be in, uh, your level of fitness, the greater level of fitness you have, the better you're going to be in your sport. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, you're, you're right on that. Okay, Johnny, thanks an awful lot for your yeah, time. Yeah, have a good show. I'll All talk right. to you. Looking forward to the truck show that you're producing. Yeah, well, we'll Maybe get... Maybe doing a, uh, <laughs> a truck uh, right, show uh, in Addison there, possibly, yeah. this summer. Yeah, possibly. We'll, we'll go over that when I see you, okay? Yeah. All right, good. All right, Johnny, Take thanks. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, folks, we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figarelli here at Donna Sports. I want to tell you about a new sponsor uh, we got recently, uh, the Addison Park District, okay? Uh, now, the website is addisonparkdistrict.com in small letters, all right? And the phone number is 1-630-233-7275. Now, let me just read you uh, some of the things from their brochure. You know, there's a summer brochure, a fall brochure, uh, spring brochure, stop in at 120 uh, Oak in uh, Addison. You could uh, get the brochure. I'm going to read off some of the things that they offer, but, you know, I, I, I can't do it all, but I'm going to give you some highlights, like at Club Fitness, all right? They have uh, the uh, so many things you could do there, personal training, uh, discounted uh, ad- admission and you know monthly fee, a yearly fee. They have a boot camp, uh, personal training, kettleball basics, the uh, zombie boot camp, diabetes prevention, uh, stroller strike. I'm just there's so many things you could do. Adult intermediate swim, adult uh, swim lessons, private swim lessons, parent tot, uh, water explorers tadpoles, minnows, seahorses. Wow, you could do so many things there at that club fitness. And then, of course, they have uh, links. These are only two of the things. There's many, many other things you could do at the Addison Park District. Links and tees, golf facilities. Wow, they have group golf outings, birthday parties, golf leagues, summer junior golf, clubhouse uh, available, uh, foot golf. You know, in football, it's like soccer. You kick a ball into a into a big hole. It's like soccer, but it's golf combination. Uh, Junior programs, snag program for youngsters, miniature golf, outdoors uh, training for golf, putter's peak. Yeah, you could play miniature golf there. It's a beautiful facility. It's a big putter's peak. It's a big mountain. Uh, And birthday parties all at the Addison Park District. Please go to the website addisonparks.com or call them, 1-630-233-7275, the Addison Park District, the greatest. Y'all ready for this? 
Hi everybody, welcome back. On the line with me now is my good friend Andy Tranchita. Hello Andy. Hey Don, how are you buddy? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good Andy. Uh, weather's getting warmer. Uh, get your clubs out, we'll go golfing, alright? Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, a welcome change, my friend. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Andy, how did you make out uh, with DeMarco there, you know, and all that? What, well, we, uh, that? yeah, we, we forwarded the uh, the DVD presentation to uh, the Italian American Sports Hall of Fame. Good. They should have gotten it two weeks ago. In fact, I'm going to make uh, contact with uh, George Randazzo today to find out if they expedited to Jersey. Oh, okay. And, and obviously we're hoping that, uh, you know, football is the um, – the, the sport that they're honoring this year. That's what we need to find out. But oh, uh, okay. everything that you did for the guy is really first rate, Don. We really appreciate it. Well, and then uh, Monday night is going to be the meeting with the uh, Post 391, and I'm recommending uh, that they come on your show once a month. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, Andy. Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, tell them, uh, you know, we'll, we'll give them a lot of PR, you know? Sure, and, exactly. Uh, and uh, so, try to reach some young guys so they get some new blood in there, so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. But, uh, yeah, let me know on that. It, it's a reasonable rate, uh, Andy, right. and uh, we'll do a lot of advertising for them. Okay, uh, sounds good. Okay. I have a question for you. Were you able to get the two additional DVDs, one for myself and one for Frank? Because uh, we... We only had the one that went to the hall, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll get them for you, Andy. I, I sure will. Just get, okay. give me a little time, and I, I'll get them for you, though, okay? Okay, sounds good, Don. All right, Andy. Thanks for your time. All right. Talk to you soon. Yeah, bye-bye bye -bye. All right, folks. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. The Don of Sports here. Let me tell you about a new sponsor for me. Shoeless Joe's Ale House and Grill, 1480 West Lake Street in Addison, Illinois. And the phone number is 847-773-9147. Dine in and carry out. Now, I'm not going to list all the things that they have, but what I'm going to do for you is uh, when you look at the menu, it'll go like this. Lead off hitters, okay? Shoeless Wings, Five wings, uh, seven ninety nine. Twelve wings, thirteen ninety nine. Homemade soup and chili. Field of Dreams salad. Bases loaded pizza. <laughs> Create your own pizza. Papa Joe's pasta. Wow, marinara, vodka pasta, all kinds of uh, pasta. Uh, ground rules. Crosstown classics. All American burgers. This is off of the menu now. Uh, a league of their own. And then there's listed a couple of burgers under there, all-star sandwiches and wraps, Hall of Fame paninis, bench players, $3, house specials, chicken entree, Joe's Pesci, and extra innings. Shoeless Joe's, get over there and uh, enjoy yourself. The place is great. Take care now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this is uh, your Don Figarelli, the Don of Sports. Uh, I've got a book here. Boy, I, I'll tell you, it's terrific. It's Chicago's Greatest Sports Memories. It's edited by Roland Lazenby, uh, actually from the Sun-Times. If you get a chance, pick one of these up. I'm going to just uh, briefly go over some of the articles in it, and uh, it, may, it may stir some memories that uh, you guys have, might have had, you know, of Chicago sport. Uh, so here you go. Sammy Sosa, uh, September 26, 1998. Home run race hits 66. You guys remember that? When Sammy hit 66 home runs? Uh, that was that uh, one article in there. Then how about a three-peat defines a dynasty? Of course, uh, Michael Jordan. Do uh, you remember that? Those were great years. And how about Kerry Woods? May 7th, 1998, Kerry Woods, when he uh, struck out 20 batters. Wow. Remember that? Uh, how about Tigers Town? Tigers, uh, after crushing the Masters field by 12 strokes early in the year, Tiger Woods continued his mastery of the game by capturing the 1997 Motorola Western Open. You guys remember that? <laughs> how about Full Speed Ahead? 
uh, Dennis Rodman, James Edward, Michael Jordan, Tony Kukoc, and Jack Haley from left to right so share the Bulls' 70th victory. They won 70 games that year. What a great team. And uh, how about, I don't know if you guys, and I remember this very, very vividly, the Wildcat uh, doubts become cheers. November 26, 19, the Northwestern Wildcat. It, it it really was. I can't remember that while because I got a jersey from Northwestern. Gary Barnett's re, uh, revival of the Northwestern football program to Rose Bowl heights was one of the most surprising sports stories of the 1990s. Before the Wildcats' 1995 season, it had been 47 years since Northwestern had been to a bowl game, and 59 years since they won uh, a conference championship. I, I remember that vividly. Uh, to wonder where Gary Barnett is now for the Northwestern Wildcats. All right, folks. Hey, that wraps it up. Uh, take care, and uh, we'll keep in touch, all right? All right, Johnny. Thanks a lot. You have been listening to the Don of Sports with Don Figarelli from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network. And remember to watch the Don of Sports with Don Figarelli every Thursday evening at 8.30 p.m. on Comcast Cable Channel number 19. The Don of Sports was directed by John DeVita and a special thanks to the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Chaconda. This program was pre-recorded on Friday, March the 22nd, the year 2019. Until next time, friends, please be safe and thanks for listening.